Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, now on Monday, uh, just for today. Um, because we have two games that are time sensitive. One, the pre-orders went open today, Oh. and the second one was released today. Ooh. So, we're going to play on two different systems. One is... Oh, oh get the sign. The Atari Lynx. Oh, you like that? You like it, kittens? You like it? And the other one is the Atari 8-bit. Yeah. Let's see if I can smush them in here. There, I'll pile them up. Oh, Sid is super there. excited. Are you excited about the show? Are you excited about the show? Yes, you are. So are we. <laughs> We're going to be playing Micro Vaders from Ooh. Songbird Productions, nice. who we talked to at PRG. Yes, we did. Carl Forehand. Yes. And we're also going to be playing Go Tony Go, oh, okay. which is a kind of a mini game following up from Tony Montezuma's Gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, just a little bonus. Bonus mini bonus show. Bonus show because you wanted to Monday. get it out there. I did in time. Yes. You uh, that Esser. first stream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Esther Ramirez says he pre ordered Excellent. the standard edition of Microvaders. Somehow I missed the song. <laughs> oh, yeah. We close up PRG. I know. There I, ITC it, says there was, was a lot of booths. So big there. <laughs> a it's lot easy of booths. To, it's easy to miss something. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But first, before we get into that, mm -hmm. no, leave Bernie alone. Uh, this little guy is going to read out the uh, Twitch subscribers or not. Yeah. Uh, Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Arms Guard Coder, Atari Ned 74, Atari, Atari 2, Atari Dude, BR Poka, Bruno Stex, Burst Error, Captain Class, Justin Mal, Justin Mal, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cubanismo, Danny C. Dave, M. Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Eric Cart, Gamma Dev, Great Friend, or Alto Juru, JG, W. Warning. Johnny WC, Computer Quarter. Warning. Oh, the treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. Oh, well, that'll keep those cats occupied if yes. you want to do that while I read well, it out. Continue. Thank you, Nostalgic. Kabuto Coder, Carl G. Karakak, Karakak, Croco 2600, Valtimore Land Express, Manny Sipping Tea, uh, Marky Hannes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Lunar, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Tell, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funston, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Pack Rap, Prow 7, Co Hog, R. Anschwitz, Raymond C., RC7, E. Render Ghost, Spanish, EG, Revan Tuller, Six Sweet, Smitty B., S. Ramirez, Thrust, Sticky Dan, KT, Fost Track, MD, Tweeny, Vexer, X. Vitoko, VVG Double Down, X Ken X. Thank you all so much for subscribing and helping support these kitties. You want to get the box out? Where's the blue, the pink one? Oh, he probably shoved it under the couch or something, and we didn't notice. <laughs> well, they can Sweet fight us. over one. They can fight over one. Let's see if I can find oh. the other one. Not there. Um, Not there. Friends, what did you do? Thank you for. F Following R S A Hughes, if that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Um, we are missing a treat ball, <sighs> cats. and we are unsure of where it went. All I can say is they cats. They might have to share one treat ball. What is going on here? You're gonna have to fight over yeah. it. You're gonna have to Did fight over it. Did they give it, it to them upstairs? Do they have a second one? No, hmm. not upstairs. They have a third bell, but they Did don't I, have a second I, treat ball. Did I give it to them upstairs? I, I don't know. Okay, kitties. You're going to have to fight over this one while no. Tanya finds the other one. Oh, okay. I will go into news. Time for news. Um, Let's see. Stella was updated to version 7.0 on Saturday with a quick double update release. Um, Today was the newest release. So let's take a look at that. Here's my uh, news report on it. Oh, kittens. After two years of hiatus, Stella, the Atari 2600 emulator, announced a major release update to version 7.0. Uh, the team behind this release reminds you that Stella is donationware, and any donations to the Stella team are welcome. Okay, well... No idea. We have the orange one. The pink one has gone missing. So a bunch of updates to it. Uh, let me read through a couple of them. Uh, enhanced ROM launcher to allow multiple images per ROM. Um, <clears throat> added option to start a random ROM if you don't know what game to play. Uh, added automatically enabled phosphor modes. Uh, let's see. Bezel support for light guns. Joy 2B Plus controller support. Um, enhanced KidVids support to play tape audio. 
Auto detection for Quadtari attached controllers. That's a big one. Uh, it accelerated emulation up to 15% on the arm. So faster emulation. Uh, added plus ROM support for E7 bank switching. Enhanced movie cart support. Are you going from one cat to another? I, yeah, because I otherwise uh, <laughs> Sid kind of takes over. So added elf mapper for mattress monkeys. Uh, added bus bank switching support for some older demos. Fixed broken 7800 pause key support. Oh my God, that's just some of them. Let's see any other ones. Uh, added some more bank switching schemes for some uh, very rare carts. Um, added port selection used for controller default. Uh, mapping. Quadtari attached controllers. How would you do that to a, B a PC? You can get USB to, to 9 pin adapters. I do have a couple over there. Um, so you'd have to have you'd have to have two of them to connect to two USB ports. Um, so if you have a Quadtari and if you have four controllers and you have two uh, 9 pin to USB adapters you can too can play Quadtari on your computer. Just keep it in the box. Keep it in the box. Back to the kitties. What are you doing? There's nothing under there. No. Um, so, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, we have tons and tons of shows coming up. Yes. Exciting shows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they include this Friday, we have the exclusive premiere of Spider's Arcade Ooh. on the internet. Kind of. I did it on the internet. Uh, well, we're at PRG, but gotcha. playing it on the internet nice. firsthand. And we have an interview with developer John Champo nice. from Champ Games to help introduce nice. Spider's Arcade. Good, good, as good. Long as, along with Tutankham, uh, we're going to be playing uh, because we got the boxed version of Tutankham. Can you fix your computer, please? Oh. Uh, Spider's is looking great. Pretty much done, too. Excellent. Yeah, Spider's is so much fun in the short amount of time that I played it at PRGE. Uh, we're going to do a Vectrex special. We have two Vectrex games. Uh, we're going to do a spotlight on the immortal John Hancock later on. Uh, that'll be late October. Uh, I think it's October 27th or something. Uh, we're going to have a spotlight on Albert Yeruso talking to him straight. No interruptions. Uh, we have a spotlight on Chris Walton, CD-W, along with the release of Xevious through Champ Games. We're going to have Atari Age Day 2024. We're going to have uh, the world premiere of Bounty Bob Strikes Back for the Atari 7800 released through Atari. The first 7800 game from Atari in 33 years. Uh, uh, with interview with developer Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus. We're going to have the world premiere of Casey's Gold with the interview with Dan Kitchen from Audacity Games. So, that all might be this year. That's crazy. What's wrong with your computer? Is it not charging? Uh, no. Nope. I don't know what's causing it because the charger Cats. is powered. No, I does think it say charging on the computer when you uh, hover over it? Do you it? see that little white light? I don't it's believe charging. that light. No, it I turns off if it's it. not charging. I so. don't believe that light. Yeah. So uh, when that turns off, it turns off. So cats, stay away from that area. Yeah, it's good luck yes, that. <laughs> so many interviews. Cases Gold is a lot of fun. I'm excited for that one. Yes. Don't recall Ghost having spiders. I need to make return, make use of membership. Mm -hmm. What? What? Oh, Ghost. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, what is this madness you have displayed in the gameplay video? Uh, oh. Yeah, it does look like madness. What is going on there? The links? Yeah, I left it reset it. it there is madness going on there uh we'll fix that uh so that's all the shows coming up mm. in the next three months mm -hmm. yeah i think so blow on it yeah mm -hmm. we'll take out the cartridge and blow on it <laughs> um okay let's get into the first game the first game is microvaders now this is a pre-order preview it is 99.9999 percent the game nice. that's going to be sold. The pre-orders opened today. And so let's take a look at the pre-order page. On Songbird Productions. That is the game menu for the flashcard we should be saying. Yes, that is correct. It should be the menu. Uh, I don't know why it's not displaying, but I just need to wiggle the cable. 
So there's the uh, Microvaders pre-order for November 22nd. That's when it is going to be uh, released. There are multiple different releases, standard, deluxe, and ultimate. Mm. And the first 300 orders will receive all first run stamped on the boxes and cartridge stickers. Um, special, get 10% off the standard edition from now until the release date of November 22nd. Uh, let's see. Okay, here are the three editions. Today is the pre-order date, so if you want this, you can get it now. Nice. Standard includes cartridge box and eight-page full-color manual. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, deluxe, 75 units. Above the deluxe... Uh, above, plus deluxe boot screen, signed box, yeah. and digital soundtrack. Mm, okay. Music, a little bit of music. Yeah. Uh, ultimate, only 25 units. Ooh. Uh, all the above, plus the ultimate boot screen, so you know when you boot it up, it's mm -hmm. that distinct game, and a serial number, and your name or message on the title screen. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Please include up to 12 characters in the order notes, including spaces. Mm. Uh, is 12 characters for the message, or 12 characters for your name? Oh, name or message. Okay, so it's but it 12 has 12 total. total. That's which is not a lot, but it's yes. not a lot. Um, that's a very short message. Yeah, it's like, it's for some people, that's just their last. Go name. team. Yeah, yeah, it could be just the last <laughs> name. So choose twelve wisely. Mm -hmm. uh, twelve characters. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Never give up. They overwhelmed our remote outpost. Now the fight is at our doorstep. You're our last chance for survival. Can your squadron turn back the alien horde? Microvaders is an adrenaline-fueled shooter featuring all new enemies, power-ups, in-game music, and more. Fight for victory and achieve your destiny as an ace pilot. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how well we do. Uh, so this is the first post on Atari Age about the game. Uh, December 29th, 2021. Mm -hmm. Check out the new alpha with even more features, including pixel shatter explosions and power-ups. So this is very close to the original game. Now, the original game was a hidden game on a not-released game. Mm -hmm. So it was hidden a hidden game um, that was on a game that was never released. Let me see if I have info here. Microvader started as an unfinished beta hidden inside a game, Lexus, for the Lynx, which itself was an unreleased game developed by Shadowsoft mm -hmm. in the early 1990s. Songbird acquired the rights to both many years ago, but it was only around 2020 that Songbird owner Carl Forhan seriously began to look at how to modify the then unnamed Space Shooter beta and turn it into a full game. Nice. The original beta has one level, no sound effects or music, and considerable slowdown when all the enemies were on screen. Ah, uh, gotcha. Songbird received no source code for Lexus or the Hidden Space Shooter. Everything you see in Microvaders was done by reverse engineering the ROM and hacking new graphics, code, and music to create the full featured game. We are super proud of how Microvaders turned out and hope you enjoy the game too. Okay, he should hide the original game within the new game. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Yep. You never know. Hello, Atari Beer Pong. Hello, Atari Beer Thank Pong. Thank you for watching our white YouTube videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. PRG was awesome. You oh, gotta so go much next fun. year. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Atari Beer Pong, friend of the show. Um, and this was the post on February tenth, twenty twenty-two, by Songbird. Mm. Uh, Songbird recently asked pixel artist Andrew Lex if he could provide a new background for the upcoming Lynx game Microvaders. Lo and behold, just a couple of hours later, he had a mock-up ready with full-screen Starfield, improved palette, and sprite enhancements. Thus, I knew I had to get busy incorporating those graphics right away to show the engine could do it. So that's the original we kind of just saw. And then there's the new graphics. This is in 2022. Uh, Microvaders is another game I'm hacking without any source code. Uh, the original alpha of this game is actually playable, but extremely tough. Blah, blah, blah. We already did that. Um, and there's some more information that you might want to read there. I'll post that in the chat about how he did it. Some uh, technical information. And Microvaders is coming late 2022 nice. from Songbird. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Add two years. Never, never give a release date. It's just going to spell do you'll, you'll doom for you. You'll just be proved wrong. Yes. Yeah, by yep. yourself. <laughs> yeah. Late 2024. Exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's very, very late 2022. Like, yeah. <laughs> like very late. 
Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get into the game and boot it up. Yep. Let's see what uh, Starbolt screen looks like. Oh, it looks fine on this. Maybe it's just that. That screen. I might have to reset it. Oh, no, it's fine. Da, da, da. Okay. This will be sideways for you for a second. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right way up for us, but then it'll be sideways for us. Which is more of a problem, but that's okay. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Okay. There we go. Shoot the things, avoid the bullets, get the pickups. That oh, is the basics. Went backwards. No, right, right button, please. So I have some information here about the power-ups. Ooh, that's looking. Why is it going a little fu fuzzy? A little fuzzy. We'll see how the game yeah. goes. Might have to fuzzy like a Sid's white little white yeah. belly. Oh, upside down cat. Oh, look at that fluffy white belly. Microvaders, twenty twenty four Songbird Productions, all rights reserved. And thank you so much to Songbird and Carl. for providing this for us to show everyone. Code, Dave Dries, Carl Forehand Graphics, Andrew Lex, Carl Forehand. High score, 28,000. And there's the power-ups. Nice. nice graphics, awesome music. It looks really, really good. Awesome. Um, and we can skip 10 levels once we make it. Deep space sensors have detected an aggressive Iktoth swarm. We must hold the line, deploying all fighters for counterattack. I'm gonna read it over here. There you go. So up, down, shoot, 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 shoot. I didn't realize it started. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought there was something Avoid. else. Avoid the bullets. No! no, it's so hard to do it sideways. I don't like that. Not really. You're just yes, it is. I have to hold it shooter. upside down. What no, is going don't. on here? Just press up and down. Gosh, it's so Press weird. Press up and down. It's totally normal. No, it's not. It's, it's completely abnormal. It's a side not shooter. Normal. It's a side shooter to us. Not really. <laughs> yeah, it's Lynx first up, and then Atari 8 bit. Up next. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Info. Last time we played it was April 30th, 2024. We played an earlier version of it. I love the perspective on this. Like how they it's, come from the background yeah. and they're teeny tiny. That is very interesting. It is Not very too interesting. many games do that. Usually it's a full 3D, um, like oh, flat perspective yes. if you do that, like yeah. Juno first or something Let's like that. Let's try that again. Give it another <laughs> go. Hi, what are you doing? Are you causing trouble? Are you here for trouble? So Tanya got me this shirt for my birthday. Yeah, it was his birthday. Oh this gosh. is from our local arcade in the town over. Um, and we actually ran into the owners of yes, this arcade. Yes, when we were in PRG. Unexpectedly. Yeah. It was awesome. Oh, probably the first person we saw when we were there <laughs> on the first day. They're like, was hey, it? and we're like, oh, on, on yeah. the Saturday, I think. Yeah, it was really, really cool. It was cool. Uh, they had masks on, so we didn't recognize them completely at first, but then it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It took me a second, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I bragged about my Geo, Neo Geo purchase, uh, forgetting exactly uh, who they were. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, we have two Neo Geos at the arcade. I'm like, oh, my God, of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing to you. <laughs> Yeah, they have a two uh, two slot Neo Geo there and yeah. a four slot. Neo Geo. The graphics in this are absolutely gorgeous. The star field in the background and kind of the asteroid. You're defending. I'm guessing you're probably defending. Oh, power up. I like power ups. So I do have a list of power ups here. Um, that one you got was shield grants temporary invul invulnerability. There is a speed increase, which is a plus. Uh, there's rapid fire, which is two shots, two lines. There's a bomb, which is kind of a, um, a square within a square. Um, and there's an extra life. That's yeah, that's the speed up shot. A very useful. Very useful. Bullets are just mobile. Uh, did you get to meet Jeff Minter and Nolan Bushnell? 
Uh, no, uh, we didn't even see Jeff Minter. <laughs> A lot of people did. I saw a lot of pictures. Yeah. Of that. We oh. did see Nolan Bushnell at his talk. Yeah. We, did, we did see. That. Didn't have anything for him to sign. In for no, I'm not too big on signatures. I don't really care about signatures. I'd rather meet the person. Yeah. Say hi or say thank you for doing a lot. Thank you for creating the whole video game industry. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly, <laughs> or at least starting it off and getting it on the right foot. Um, and Chuck E. Cheese, too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> right. Did you ever go to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid? As a were, kid? Were there Chuck E. Cheeses near you? Uh, no. Uh, I had been to Chuck E. Cheese, but I don't believe there were any in Ottawa where I grew up. Okay. Um, they had them in Toronto, so I want to say we had been to a Chuck E. Cheese in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, visiting family there, but not specifically in well, we visited them. I think it must have been Toronto, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, his talk was packed. It was absolutely full. Yeah, the lineup was... was forever down the hallway. Yeah, it was I'm, quite busy. I'm guessing some people did not get in because it was so long. The lineup. Uh, no, it wasn't full. It wasn't was completely it full? full. No, That's it wasn't surprising. completely full. But it was, it was a very huge full. ballroom. Oh yeah, it was massive. So the room was big. So I'm pretty sure everyone got in who get probably it. wanted to. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Ooh. By Pixel. Yeah, everybody that wanted to get in got in. Yeah, yeah they really rearranged. Oh. You just stood there. I know. I was. I was looking. I was looking <laughs> up oh. at what I was trying to shoot. Uh, <clears throat> they rearranged PRGE this year to make it massive. They open up the the floor, and the uh, halls the talks were in were bigger. Uh, the one with Noah Bushnell was. Massive. Well, they, they used a whole ballroom. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's a Chuck E. Cheese 15 minutes uh, away from Steve. Go. Oh, wow. Showbiz was more popular when I was a kid. I, I, yeah, no we didn't have here. showbiz in Canada. Oh, don't oh. Think. Well, that was an extra life. And you died. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, I think it's your turn now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we didn't have showbiz. We only really, I only really remember Chuck E. Cheese. And not in Ottawa. We didn't have one in Ottawa. Did you have one growing up in BC? Yeah, we, I remember going to it. I don't remember where it was. Yeah. I think it might have been in Abbotsford, not in Langley, like, where not I grew up. where you grew up, yeah. Yeah, yeah Atari Beer Punk says, I've seen a Chuck E. Cheese near the 401 North End of Toronto, I think. Yeah, I'm Didn't we see a Chuck E. Cheese on the way back from Portland along the highway? I can't remember where. Yes, we, somewhere. It's yes, we did. Between Portland and Seattle, somewhere. I was yeah. like, hey, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ivory Tower says, we had both Showbiz and Chuck E. Cheese here in the 80s. We still have a Chuck E. Cheese. And it is actually in the building that used to be Showbiz. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's only about five minutes away from the ITC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they were not as common in Canada, but like no. big, big cities like oh, Toronto had one. just explodes everything. I'm yeah, sorry. that's ah. very nice. Doesn't stop them from coming. No. Um, Game over. I win. I get the it, like, Great music. We didn't really have an alternative to it. Like, what we did must we have do had when we were arcades. kids? Yeah. Or at least. Bo I remember bowling lanes. Bowling, had bowling. We did a lot of bowling arcades. when I was a kid. That's what I remember. Um, but arcades. Five pin. Five pin. Yeah, Canadian bowling. Canadian bowling. <laughs> But of course, uh, arcades we were before. everywhere in everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were in grocery stores, corner stores, laundromats, ferries. I never everything. was exposed to arcades. Like, I, I, I don't remember going to many of them. Like actual, actual arcades. Yeah, like actual arcades when I was a kid. There was a super dark, uh, terrible, gross one in Langley. Mm. That that we didn't really want to go to. Yeah. It was just because they smelled of smoke. This one anyway. Mm. And it was super dark, and all the games were kind of broken and very busted up. And, but just thinking back to like Chuck E. Cheese and all those kids with their greasy pizza hands playing the playing the uh, the games with the joysticks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we were kids, so we didn't. Know. <laughs> we're like we're greasy too. And the pizza. Oh, the pizza was oh RC sent me. Pup Hut was my main arcade. We did have mini golf. Oh, mini golf yes. was big. Arcades at mini golf. Um, I do remember at some point there being uh, uh, go karting, oh, but we did do a lot of go karting. But there was a little bit of go karting. Never did go karting. Uh, a local bank near me had a warp and warp cabinet. Oh, interesting. So, um, and 
sorry, beer pugs. So we had another midway type place called Vinny's in the Toronto Vinny's. core for a long time. That sounds vaguely familiar to me. Oh god, they're shooting. Um, I didn't I didn't grow up in Toronto, but my grandmother lived in Toronto. So we used to visit her a lot and we would we would see all the Toronto sites, so Watch that cat. He's gonna go on the table. <sighs> Got an eye on him. Hey! Psst. Hey! Um, yeah. Oh, no, slow. slow and slow bullets. It's one of those games you die and you lose everything. Atari Beer Pong, there are lots of trips to Ontario Place. And uh, Canada's one of kids, so. And science. The science, uh, s science center as well. Come up here. Stop being a bad kid. Ramirez, tons of arcades in New York City. Oh, yeah, so I had bad. one less than five minute walk. Wow. Well, we know where uh, you got your your love of, of gaming then. And skill. Five minutes, that's amazing. And skill. Uh, I worked at it too. There we go. The owner would let me set the games to free play after we closed. Wow. <gasps> Spend Good many practice. hours playing Asteroids, Star Castle, and Lunar Land Lander on free play. Well, you did show your asteroid skills at PRG. He had to walk away from the machine. He played so well. Because he kept rolling over the score. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I got to walk <laughs> but away. But that's really cool. I mean, you, you worked at a comic book shop yep so that's a dream come true yeah <laughs> for uh, a kid for a kid yeah and um my friends so, worked at arcades not when they're like when they're teenagers yeah so that's pretty much dream job as well that was that's my favorite point as Ramirez which one i'm guessing asteroids <laughs> yeah 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 that's um, not surprising yeah. considering uh, everyone has their, their favorite games even if you don't have even Exposure not, access to a ton of games. Or even if you're not good at those games, you yeah. can still like them. Uh, Nostalgia says, Kidney would have been so jealous of you working at an arcade at S. <laughs> Um And you working at a comic shop. Yeah. yeah zero I page, yeah. I got 50% off all comics. Well, you had a good collection of comics. You got rid of... A them at Almost some all point. Of them. Almost all of them. You've got a couple, I guess. I so. sold the more expensive ones. Yeah. And then gave the nothing ones to my uh, nephews. I don't know if they got rid of them at some point. Or... I don't know if they did. They, they did read them. They did read them. They, they might have. That. They might have. I think or they might lying. have given given them away. No, no, no. It sounded like your sister was saying that they did quite enjoy uh, having uh, them. No. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they did. Yeah. You had one Bronze Age one, right? Bronze Age comic that you sold? But you didn't have a lot of really old ones. You had them from the era yeah, you worked just there. Yeah, like one. <laughs> yeah, like one That was one my from most the, expensive one. Was from the 70s or Punisher's something. Punisher's first appearance. Mm. Which is... Uh, uh, wasn't really that expensive. Um, I had a ton of uh, Spider-Man Todd uh, McFarlane. Uh, Todd McFarlane. I was going to say, you had a bunch of McFarlane, and I always want to say Seth. Yeah, but Todd no. McFarlane comics. Like two ninety eight, two ninety nine, a ton of three hundreds. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Those were the first comic that Todd McFarlane did of Spider Man. Oh, so those were worth a little, bit, yeah. a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play once. Actually, you play one more. Okay. Um, we're just asking about what series you collected. Well, I think you just answered that. Well, that I didn't collect Spider Man. I collect Punisher. I had every single. Punisher comic that had ever been put out. Really? At one point, yeah. Every wow. single one. Um, like every single one. Reissues, the big ones. Um, yeah. Just every single one. Because they weren't, because I got into them early, so it wasn't that expensive. Um, I was mostly into superheroes that were loners. The loner? <laughs> Were you a loner growing so, uh, up, James? Uh, no, I had lots of friends. <laughs> um, but we're all geeks. So Geeky loner We were friends. loner toge loners You're together. You were all loners together, yes. Me and Darcy. Yeah. Oh. Geeks together. It's so cute. <laughs> Darcy. Um, friends from high school. I collected Wolverine. I mean, he was part of a team, but I collected the independent Wolverine by team. Um, oh. Right into him. Let's try to kill him. For, don't forget, you don't have unlimited bullets. I know that's what you that's what throws me off. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> Cornered. That's what throws me off. This is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, what other comics did I collect a lot? I collect. Uh, 
I mean, I did collect the McFarlane Spider-Man. Yeah. I really like McFarlane's artwork. And I actually met him. Um, two times. Did you? Because he came with the comics. Oh, that's nice. Um, I got uh, a bunch of comics that are signed by him. Mm. I got his brother's pen. Because he was he was signing something and you forgot the pen. And his brother's last name is McFarlane. So it was like some company... In Calgary, I think. Oh. Um, it was like Blah McFarlane. Oh, really? I was like, oh my god. He's Canadian? Uh, I don't think he's Canadian. His, but his brother worked in Calgary? I, I can't remember. It might have been Calgary. It might have been somewhere else. Um, and I got his plane ticket. Oh my gosh. That he accidentally left. I don't know why his plane ticket was was left behind. Well, it might have been the it was used, used ticket. It yeah, was used. exactly. So he, he probably must have taken things out of his pocket. And, yeah, that's that would and be my accident. Or or was gonna throw them away. Or something. I'm not sure. He didn't think you were going to. Um... Wolverine wasn't part of a team. He reluctantly worked with the team when the role was thrust upon him. Oh, just in time, he got that. Oh, I wish I could remember what other. You had quite a few. Oh, hundreds and hundreds. Um, did you have Batman? No. Oh yeah, I I didn't collect a lot of Batman, but here and there I collected certain. Batmans. Um, yeah, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long since I, I gave them away. So much, actually. Yeah. Okay, mm, I'm gonna have one more not game. Not great. Not great. The what? team's lower. Like, yeah. Like, play again? Yes or no? Yes. yes seems to just start over. Yeah, it's play again. Play again. Well, no, would get, bring you back to the screen. Oh, I guess it's just a quick. Yeah, it's zero. Starts at level one with zero points. But there's no there's no other options on the title screen to do anything else. It's kind of funny. Hey, Brendan, Uh, just incidentally, yeah. I might have had some, but no, I never. Oh, I never collected any team. I just was not interested. That's in so teams. funny that you you specialized in loner, loner <laughs> superheroes. Yeah, that was your specialty, your specialty collection. I mean, it's good. It's good to uh, specialize in something because it's overwhelming. Otherwise. Yeah, and I collected some. Yeah, he was kind of a loner. <laughs> Depends, depends. Depends on the comic. I mean, he didn't work with other superheroes too, too much. I guess he kind Not of did. A lot. He was just a kid. Yeah. Um. Uh, Atari Beer Pong says, is the screen meant to be turned on its side with playing the links, depending on the game? Yeah, some are Tate, some are normal yeah. mode. Um, it depends on the game. Like for a shooter, a uh, vertical is a good way to display it. Yeah. Because you get a lot more vertical uh, real estate. This game is meant to be on a side, but not all yes. games. It just depends on the game. Most games I mean, are not. being handheld, you just turn the handheld, right? Yeah, and the Probably, buttons are just in a different spot. I mean, that's were, all. were and, there any other consoles that were meant to be played sideways? Maybe the Vectrix, you could argue, was no. <laughs> taller oh, yes. more than wide. It, it, it was permanently sideways. Permanently sideways, but... Um, but that was permanent, and there was no games where you had to turn the Which is interesting. Sideways. Interesting. The dimensions of the Vectrix are interesting for that reason. I guess they thought about it from the perspective of an arcade. Arcade, because they wanted arcades to... were frequently on like turned sideways. Yeah, they wanted to yeah. bring the arcade home with the Vectrex, so they thought, oh, well, let's make it sideways. And then it doesn't take up as much space, too, if it's turned uh, vertically. Ah, ah, so ah, RC70 says, ah, so you guys are seeing it sideways while playing, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. For I, some reason, I find it harder to line up sideways than if it's straight up I and down. When I replace this television, I will be getting one that I have a rotate. Like, I don't know if I have enough room to rotate this TV. I think I do. You would rotate the TV rather than just rotate the screen? Oh, I guess. Then I can't rotate the screen. Oh, okay. That's true. No, you can get, um, just like monitors, you can get stands or wall mounts that you can rotate 90 degrees. I wonder if you could buy... Do, would it, would a screen exist that was perfectly square? Uh, no. 
There's 4x3s, but I don't want that because I want a normal just, TV just for curious. other things. I mean, you can make a screen in any dimensions you want, but obviously they're, they're built for specific purposes, which is usually watching... Well, there, there was a brand new LCD that was released for video games. Really? 4x3. We watched a video on it. Oh, 4x3. Yeah. Yeah. It's... The only square thing I have is a handheld for the Pico 8. And it is actually square. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, has anyone made a big square no, display? No, Someone weird. must make it. Weird a... and pointless. Weird, it's and, weird pointless. and pointless. It's perfect for Instagram photos. <laughs> Instagram <laughs> photos. <And> Instagram TV. <laughs> there you go. And and so you can switch your your point of view without losing uh, oh, losing God. the dimensions of the of the image. So that was a crap game. I'm gonna do one more. I no. want, Child Sedona now wants a circular display. <laughs> well, Just they, to mess with everybody. And then you could turn it. You could look at it on like a, a 30 degree angle if you really felt well, like it. Well, if you, you go just back tilt it far around. enough, there are circular Yeah, there TVs. are. There are, yeah. So kind of there was circular televisions, not square. <laughs> or a targeting problem. Or you can just get a monitor that supports rotating the portrait mode. Yes, yes that's that would probably be the practical thing to do. That's what I'm going to do. Than to build a completely square display. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm asking is, it, do you think there's enough vertical and space to rotate this TV as it is right now, in the space it is? Uh, I don't no. think there is. I don't think there is. I think it's a little too big to rotate it based well, on the cabinet we have below and the cabinet we have above. That's annoying. But it's also a big TV. Do you really want to rotate it? I think. Well, for this game, yes. Hell yes. There's there's a bunch of games and systems that I don't know if the support Tate. But I, I I I'm assuming that the rig behind the TV is not going to support it turning or does uh, it? Not the one I have. No. But, but you can buy this. Oscilloscope. Yes, oscilloscopes. Yes, oscilloscopes. Yes, yes, yes. And there are games on oscilloscopes. That's, that's where true. That's, that's where true. the first games were made for oscilloscopes. Uh, they had tennis for two. Yeah. <laughs> and space war on oscilloscopes. Yeah. Atari Beerpunk says live stream for mobile supports portrait mode. Uh, yes, that's true. It does. It does. Yeah. I had to make sure we weren't broadcasting in in portrait mode. Yes. When we're at PRG. Yeah, to make sure it was. Yeah, that's true. Astro Mirror says space war. Yeah, space war. Tennis for two. Some other ones. <laughs> Those are the, the big ones that they made. The games in the 50s. Cat says Atari Beer. Yeah. Yeah, Cat. he's he's. Cat uh, alert! Uh, you guys have to let us know if he goes after Bernie up here. We need a Bernie alert. Something yeah, Bernie wrong with alert. the stream would be good, and then tell us Bernie. We need a Bernie Protect. alert. Actually, we should have that as an option. Specifically, Bernie alert. I think people have asked for it. Yeah, it would be a good one. Or just a general cat problem. A <laughs> cat, yeah. There's a cat problem. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the little cat? Hi, little cat. Cat attack or something. Cat attack. The worst position. Oh, I came around again. Uh, worst position in a video game is to be stuck in a corner, stuck on the side, yeah. and then one side is full of either bullets or people coming down. And it happens frequently in video games where they don't have to just sneak in just a little bit. Oh, he's got his in trouble. What are you looking for? You're looking for treats that got lost under the couch, I think. <laughs> like, there are none as far as I can tell. You are far more likely to see cat problems than us. Most of the wires <laughs> to chew on are off screen. That's true. true. That is the biggest cat problem. I did buy a um, sleeve for the wires. I just haven't put it in yet. Oh, that's right. You did. That is supposed That'll to be cat. That'll 100% protect, 100 protect the wires of the animal. In theory. In theory. Cats <laughs> In are theory. devious. They are very devious. I mean... Whoa! Oh, no. I want that extra life. There's an extra life. In between a billion bullets. Ah! <laughs> on the one side before it overwhelms me. No, don't loop around. Yes, give it, give it. So I should tell the chat this new strategy that I had to put in place 
to feed uh, Sid properly. Oh my goodness, these cats are, yeah. yeah. They're so funny. So Sid is a problem. Sid is a time. problem. Sid is a grass is always greener cat. And so when we feed them, you know, we, we used to try to feed one on the balcony because now why do we have to Sid will jump separate? in. Yeah, so Fid will Sid will immediately eat whatever food gets put down first. Yes. But then the moment he sees Atari eating, he will leave his food and nudge out Atari and start eating Atari's yeah, food. But why do they have different food? Because one's well, a one's kitten. a kitten, so there's kitten food and there's adult food. That's right. It, that won't be forever, but for now, one they more eat month. different food. One more month. Anyway. I tried a couple nights ago. I'm like, okay, there's got to be a solution to this. <laughs> so I tried a couple of nights ago pulling the reverse psychology path. Oh, so I basically yeah. put out Atari's food. So it immediately goes to it thinking it's his food, starts eating it. I wait maybe a minute, and then I put down Sid's food. Atari goes to Sid's food. Atari eats a bite. Sid gets upset, runs over, starts eating his his food, and then Atari starts eating the food that is supposed to be Atari's food. It has yeah. worked twice. So it's not about the food. It's not it's about, not the, about the flavor. The food. It's that Sid just wants whatever Atari goes towards. <laughs> but it's working. It's worked twice. We'll see how long it works. They're so, so, so silly. Very RC70, did they just eat a cable? Stream locked. What? Ethernet tastes good. Oh no. Atari Beer Pump says no, is okay. No, everything's good. Yeah. And also says Reboot. lol classic pet behavior. Very classic. Damn it! Well, I got the new high score. So. Yeah. Oh good job. Yay! Yeah. So all I all I have to say is cats are smart, but they're not that smart. <laughs> no. They are defeatable. Because <laughs> I always thought that Sid liked Atari's food. Oh, that I knew. Was not I the knew case. that was never the case. He just whatever whatever Atari is doing, Sid has to do as well. Yes. It's he's just just a little brother, you know. Like that's... So this yeah. game is for sale today. Pre-orders open today. It'll be delivered on November twenty-second. Yeah. Uh, three different versions. Go take your pick. Go to Songbird Productions, and you can order it right now. It's an awesome shooter. Obviously, we actually do one more thing because we can skip ahead a little bit. I'm not sure what level I got to. Um, so we have to press option one at the story screen. Well, that's why you play again. Jump ahead, 10 levels. Oh, oh, 31. Level 31. Oh, that is not 10 levels. Yeah, you hit it three times. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's 10 a time. Show the other backgrounds. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice, says Ezra Marcus. Yeah. Um, Atari Beer Punk says, I had a cat that chewed through a corded phone cable in the middle of a call with. Oh, jeez. Hello? Hello? Wow. Hello? Hello? Oh, that is a cat that. who wants your attention. Yes. <laughs> the black hole at the top. That is oh, sucking wow. things in. Sucking oh, that colors looks in. fantastic. So my power cable arrived for my Neo Geo today. And I believe my video cable. So I'll be testing those out. You just need After some games. <laughs> uh, no games. No games to play. I did order a multi-cart. Yeah. Um, so we'll see when that arrives. I wonder Oops. if anyone you know has a Neo Geo game. Like, locally. No? Nobody has a Neo Geo. Yeah, that's true. And if they have a Neo Geo, it's an MVS. That's Neo true. Geo. That's true. Um, because they're cheaper to buy games for. Like, even the arcade, I couldn't borrow any of their games. That's true, because Unless it's, I bought an adapter. Uh, true. But adapters are too. That cat. And I don't really plan on buying uh, any Neo Geo original games, because they're so expensive. There's yeah. like a couple at 100 or $200. They quickly jump up to $1,000, $2,000 for one game. It's out of control. Now, I was looking into Neo Geo Homebrew, of yes, course. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, that nostalgic just 
Oh, Ask the it? question as you started. Oh, is, is there an active homebrew for scene for you? There Neo actually Geo? is quite an active homebrew scene. Really? Um, the problem is that cats get on counters. And I'm dead. Thanks, cat. <laughs> um, the, there are games that they release for free that you can download. But there are games that they put on cartridge as well. Now, the games they put on cartridge oh, I'm sure it's insane. range from 350 <gasps> what? US dollars what? to f almost 600 US it, dollars. Is that because the hardware is really bespoke? Like, it's hard to find the chips or...? Um, well, I looked that up and I tried to find an answer. Yeah. <laughs> There's various answers. Okay. I don't think... Or just what the market will bear. <laughs> it's it was a mix. Yeah. So one person said the the equip like the equipment, oh, wow. like the boards, the shell, um, the memory, everything else. It adds up to about 120 US yeah. just for the parts to put one together. Die out and see if you can get another 10 levels yeah. so we can see the backgrounds for for some of the other ones. So. Then, because it's a kind of a smallish market, because they're not cheap, this whole system. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing they actually value their time as programmers and are like, well, we put in X, X number of uh, hours. So this is level 11. So it's actually skipped. So there's another different moon at the bottom. I think with enough practice, I could get a lot better at this, because at level 31, I was doing okay. Salad <laughs> so says, the game for the price of a console, and Esther Mary says, you could buy another Vectrix for the price of one game. Yes, that's yeah. so... I don't think I'll be buying any homebrew game. Yeah. It's a rich man's sport. Yeah. It appears to be. Uh, but, you, but sorry, you were saying there's a multi-card, so you can get... Are they ROMs for it, or...? Um... Well, I bought a multi-cart with games. Okay. Oh, so but the multi-cart you can't put games. Not the one I bought. Oh, I see. But there are two different companies that offer... Let's go to level 21 now. Yeah. Hey, Buffalo Pinball is raiding! Thank you, Buffalo Woo, Pinball! Woo, thank you! We are playing... Oh, oh, this is very different. It is very different. We are playing a brand new Lynx game that just opened for pre-order today, just to catch you up. Microvaders from Songbird Productions, and we're just kind of finishing up this game. Um, kind of skipping ahead to see different levels of it. Now we're on, we're on a shooter kind of level. 21, level 21. Now we're on level 21. Where Which is, you is dodging, capture the green things. Capture the green things yeah. and avoid the green things. Um, okay, there are two multi-carts that you can load games off of SD on. Yeah. Um, they're both very expensive, hundreds of dollars. To the people who just joined, we're talking about Neo Geos. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> um, and the one I want that I'll probably be... None, none of them are available, Okay. unfortunately. And there's like two... Ver one has only one version. The other one has two different versions. I think it, the lower cost one is 300 US and the upper cost one is 600 US and the upper cost one you can load CD games on yeah. and have four slots, four quick load slots because it takes about four minutes to load a game normally. This is a massive and slow, I guess. Um, I don't know why it's not faster with today's technology. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so it comes out to about 800 Canadian for the one I want. But they're sold out. Oh. But they're coming soon. And I tried to order one yeah. the other day. Yes, the $800 one. Yeah. Um, but Oof. Visa said no. Jeepers says Atari <laughs> Beer Yeah. 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 It, it, I didn't know what I was getting into at all. Visa might have been correct. It's, it's a rich man's sport. Yeah. yeah. Neo Geo said, you're not allowed to buy that. It's yeah. too much money. Yeah. Are you joking? What are you buying? No, it's from a European country that's not in the EU. 
So ah. I think they're like, uh... Visa would, would, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, let no. it go through? Yeah, they think they're a bit wary. Okay. So I didn't have time today to phone Visa to say, yes, yeah, please let me buy this thing from this have strange country. Have you used it since? The Visa? Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's been fine since yep. you tried? It's, okay, so it literally said we're stuff. not giving this this group money. Oh, interesting. We're not giving this country money. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, interesting. Need to pay with crypto, says okay. Esther Ramirez. We'll only take credit card. Really? Yeah. That's so very go unusual. Forty-one. I've never had that happen before. I thought maybe they locked up your uh, locked up the card, but obviously 31. it's okay. So. This loop back. Nope. Okay. Thirty-one is the high student. Okay. We are done that game. Yay! Now we're gonna move on to the Atari Eight Bit. Let me just switch it over. I have both of them set up. Welcome the girl G thirty three K. Welcome, welcome. We play new oh, games. The girl geek. Sorry, I, the I girl missed. Geek. <laughs> you gotta speak leet. I'm speak sorry. Leet. Sorry, my leet is not so good anymore. No, gotta practice your leets. Cat. Speak, speak. Cat. Cat. Okay. Are you going after? Yeah. No, don't go after Bernie. So this next game we're gonna be playing. Let me just give you a quick rundown. It is called Go Tony Go. Nice. And it is related to um, Tony Montezuma's Gold, which we did play on the show mm. recently. So let me just go to a web page here. Good night. Good night, S. Ramirez. Good night, S. Ramirez. Bernie Alert. Bernie Alert. Is he? Well, so, we'll see. This is posted today uh, by Pop Milo, one of the developers. First of all, thank you for the huge support we got for our game, referring mm. to Tony Montezuma's Gold. Mm. Reactions are way over anything that we expected. Hope you had lots of fun. And we did. It was a very fun game. We're going to be playing it in uh after dark soon okay. because we skipped a bunch of levels oh yes yes and then we found a bug yes which prevented us from finishing the game yes and we let the developers know and they have fixed the bug oh excellent so, so we can gonna, go back to it go excellent. Back and play it. okay i'm looking forward to that uh so i'm proud to present to you our gift for the community oh. everybody who purchased a digital version of tony montezuma's gold can already uh today download our brand new game tony go let me just make it bigger uh, P.S. Everybody else who didn't purchase the original game will have to wait a f uh, just a couple more days when full ver version will be available to all. And I'm mm -hmm. guessing that means free-free for everyone to download. Um, and this is a couple bugs, but they have issued bug uh, updates already. Mm -hmm. New versions of the game, which we're going to be playing. Uh, so here is the page in case you would like to purchase Tony Montezuma's gold nice. and you will be able to get go Tony go <laughs> right now nice if you would like oh Oop. that was uh that was Atari <laughs> that was Atari he did the plus yeah um so right oh I have to... right here new price six dollars oh, US very I think good it was $9 .99, so they've lowered the price so oh. you get actually two games oh Nice. In order to have la, 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 minimum price of $2, Tony version 1.8 plus new bonus Go Tony Go, Very which nice. we're going to be playing today. That's awesome. So there you go. And so it is an endless Go Atari Go. Yeah, that's the cat <laughs> version of the mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. So here is the joystick. All right. And we are going to flip load it over, up please. The game. And I just want to thank the uh, team at go tony go a monochrome productions uh rafael for sending it over and the rest of the team uh by uh rafael uh Dudek, uh vladimir yankovic michael pop milo and Michal brzezinski for the music right so press the button to start so it's button or up to jump and then down to duck. Oh, you can move forward and back too. Yep. I like it. It has momentum, which is I uh, like unusual. Ah. There you go. Oh, it's going faster. Aha. So get that. There are skulls. That's the only enemies, I think. And you have to duck under the skulls. Duck under them? Yeah. Oh, you don't have it. to get all those. No, I wanted to good. though. Those things in the background don't hit you, thank goodness. No. Those protect you from the skulls. Each one of those will help with a skull. And 
is presented in monochrome, like the original game. Duck. And there's no timeout on the duck. You can duck as early as you want. Bad oh. jump. So you have four hearts left. Fair enough. So this is actually going to be released on cassette. Um, cassette? Yes. Oh. For the Atari. And on floppy for the Amiga. Can you still get cassettes and floppies? Or yes. is it all dead stock? No. Uh, Do they still make oh. them? I'm Ooh, curious. It might be dead stock. I'm curious. Maybe not, because there are some bands that are releasing new albums on. Well, we were. But it still might be dead. Did you talk? Did we talk about the band we saw the other night? Oh no, we didn't. We actually. went to see a band called Master Boot Record. Yes. I think we mentioned we were going to we see did. them. Yes. They are basically a metal chiptune band. Ooh, duck. Oh. We still have two potions left. Yeah, metal chip tune, um, and they're playing the Commodore 64 as one of the instruments. Yeah. Um, and on the screen above them, they had it was mostly uh, crack throws. Oh. Uh, that you they have were to showing. Jump. You have to jump. What a awesome crack throws with moving around. Yeah. A couple demos, but mostly crack throws and also game footage. Yes, a lot uh, of game footage. Mostly from Amiga. Oh but no, no, a there lot was. Mostly an impossible, an impossible mission on the Commodore there, 64. There's a bunch of Commodore 64 stuff, but there it was mostly Amiga. Mostly Amiga. Yeah, it that was a good time. They are an excellent band. Really, really good. I would see them again. They were really fun. I I felt like they deserved a bigger audience than they than they had. Yeah, I was a little under uh, underwhelmed, and and yeah, uh, the there's number of people such a there. good. Oh, I did it again. Worry less about the skulls and yes. more more about All the jumps. All about the jumps. Three hearts left. Turn it. Um, excellent yeah, though. They had lots of energy. Yeah. Um, everybody was enjoying themselves. Yes. A lot of people with long hair there. <laughs> there was there were def there were definitely out. a fair number of members from the metal community, is what I, I'll say. I would say it's mostly metal. It was mostly metal. Not geeks like me. No. It was a couple. And I uh, saw some shirts that were geeky. I yeah. wore my C sixty four ready shirt. Yes. Yeah, I was on theme. Yep, but definitely, definitely more of a black metal. Not black metal. Just metal. A black vibe. Have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Than a than a than a colorful. Pretty much any music where the audience wears black, I'm there. Punk. That's very true. Metal, industrial. Not too much in the metal. Depends on the metal. But I do I, like the I've energy never, of metal. Never disliked metal. Oh. Uh, that, oh, you get a lot of lives. Justoni Mouse says MBR is officially good stuff. Yes. Yes. This this is also amazingly smooth horizontal scrolling. Not yes. easy to do with the eight bit. It yeah, looks... it's got a lot of it's got parallax. Like one, two, three, four levels of parallax. The uh, the clouds move very interestingly. Yeah. They move line by line. Like. I like the look I've of it. I've never seen clouds move feels, line by line it before. It feels very cloud-like, though. I like that. Yeah, it's it's, it's spin, really nice. I like the black light. and white too. Yes. I do like. Or if you prefer. Oh, what? You can go what color. Did you, do? Uh, you press Option and it'll go color. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's awesome. a little bit of color. This feels very ZX Spectrum. Yes, <laughs> this would be right at home with ZX Spectrum. Because it's all sections yeah. of color. <laughs> no. But you can get potions, so you, you can That's survive. That's the whole point. All you have to really pay attention to is the jumping. Yeah. That is your number one. Auto worry. auto death with the. Ah! Uh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I yeah. thought I I thought I would. Uh... I'm sure Master Boot Record goes to a lot of conventions. Because they would, oh. they would be super welcomed at uh, at any of the uh, retro yep. expos. They're from France, right? They're French. Ooh, I, I think didn't... they were French. Did the accent sound French? It does. It was European. Certainly European. <laughs> I think they are. Mm. For some reason, I want to say I looked I, them up. I oh, I wouldn't, I too wouldn't slow. I wouldn't say France would. Be... Oh, actually, they no, were mostly metal? showing. Not Polish cracks, because I noticed a lot of, over and over again, 
names and like a country that was coming up on the screen over and over again where their cracks were coming from. I, I thought they were French, but I could be wrong. Maybe I just associate French with like... But it was not a lot of... Out. Let me just see. Master Boot. Well, somebody knows Because Carpenter chat. Brute is from France. Maybe that's yes. what I'm thinking of. Yeah, very different. Still excellent, though. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Another great band. Oh, you uh, can't just look up Master Boot Record. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's an actual thing. Yeah. Just band. Put band on the end. Um... I'm thinking of Italy. Brute. Italy. That's okay. what it was. Dot it. That's uh, where. All okay, the stuff there was. we go. So I was thinking of Carpenter Brute. Yes, you were. It really ramps up. It does quite quickly. Seems like oh, oh, you gotta move and jump on that one. Oh, you can't move in the air. I don't think. Italy. Yes, yeah, says Render Ghost. We're from France. <laughs> <laughs> Skull me. Yeah, you can't jump and duck. You can either jump or duck, and you can't duck in midair. So don't bother trying that. It starts off pretty sluggish. It does, but, but when it, it gets fast, it, it becomes... It seems very simple, but it does become challenging when it starts to really fly. I think it doubles. It's not a... Yep. And I think they do that so it's like a num an even number. That was my one. That's okay. One potion. There's another. Yeah, it's tight when they're close together. You yeah. really have to Pick and aim choose. for the jump. Um, Always the jump. Don't jump unless you know that there's not a opening coming up that's going to destroy you. Rendered ghosts. I've been all in on MDR for way too long. Oh, <laughs> really? Nice. Nah. We've never had a chance to see them before. No, I'm, I, I'm sure they've toured before, but I think this is the first time we've Notice. been able to see them. So. Sometimes we're out of town. Or... Ooh, I just barely made that. Uh, I don't know if this is the top speed. It's good they give you potions. Cause, oh, it's not the top oh, speed. Oh, no, it keeps going. <gasps> uh, yeah, see, it gets really hard. The timing gets hard when it speeds up real fast. Well, you didn't lose a life. Uh, oh. You must have had an extra life. What? You must have had an extra life somehow. Did I get enough points? I don't know. Maybe it's every 10,000. That would make sense. That would make sense. That means you got two extra yeah. on your go. I do like Tony. Tony's a very cute... Yeah. Cute character? Cute character. Yep. He's look, And when you press back, he looks back to make sure he's He reminds there. me of like a young Indiana Jones. You know? River, <laughs> River Phoenix from uh, uh. the third... The third movie. Uh, reminds me of Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy? Yeah. From the video game series. Except in Wonder Boy, like, wore one cloth. It's got a hat and a proper... proper yeah. Oh, I can't avoid that one. Some you can't avoid. But that's why you have yep. the potions to keep you going. Ah. When they're tight together, you just you just have to focus on jumping in between them. Yep. It's, it's challenging. I'm doing really well. Uh, uh. I want to jinx you. <laughs> I reckon it. Gonna wreck it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, see it. Oh, like, the timing gets, of that. When you get fast, it gets hard. Well, we'll watch and see That's if I get extra hard. get an extra heart at twenty thousand. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom minecart flashbacks. Oh, yes, yeah. a little bit of that too. Before that movie, were there any minecart movies? There must have been minecart movie scenes. It seems like an obvious thing in movies because I mean that was in the eighties, right? Mm. Temple of Doom. Is that still in the 80s? I believe Did so, Did they make yeah. all three? Or, um, I thought all three were in the 80s, but I could be wrong. The last one might have been the 90s. It might have been early 90s, I, I yeah. would have to look it up. Yep. Uh, RSA Hughes says, reminds me of Moon Patrol. Oh, yes. Does have Moon Patrol. Nobody's shooting at us, though. Um, true. <laughs> Which is uh, good. I don't think I could take that. Uh, it does, does definitely feel Moon Patrol-esque. 
Yep, jumping over the okay. gaps. Do we know if the map is randomly generated or yes. if it is designated by hand? It's randomly generated because when I tried this out earlier today, I didn't get a skull for so long. Yeah. And we've gotten, I got a skull right away um, in another game. So it's 100% randomly generated, which is good because you want to Well, keep it also it means uh, if you get unlucky, you'll just die. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, look did at the background. I, I it's all hedge it. now. Oh, interesting. All hedge. It's like you oh, might be at the max right. speed. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Oh, no more jumps. Oh, there are no more jumps. Did you so did you win the game? I won the game. Just stay down. I could just duck the whole time. Oh, hearts plus. Hearts plus. What happened? I got too many points. Too many points. Oh, it's getting faster. It's going to be it? one ultimate jump at the end. Maybe. Is it? Oh my gosh, this is hard on the eyes. Maybe maybe this is a bug. People were reporting bugs before. Oh, were they? Nobody's ever made it this fast. No, somebody made, <laughs> posted a, a score of 100,000. Oh, you might get there if you just keep ducked. Yeah. I yeah, there's no more jumps anymore. Oops. Something, something. Yeah. I don't think it's getting faster. No. I mean, it did. Your brain sensation might be that it's speeding up, but... No, it is getting faster. You're over the hedge, uh, <laughs> says the target. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's it's still getting faster. Is it? Yeah. It's increasing? Yeah. It is. It's, is like, it? really fast. I can barely, no I can barely make it back down when the when the skull comes. But here's the thing: it, it, all you have to do is duck and then keep going. But you going. don't get any points. Oh, you do get. Yeah, points. you do. It it ticks up. Okay. So if you just stay there, you'll hit a hundred thousand. Do I have an elastic band? That's what that's what nostalgic said. This is where you put a brick on the joystick to hold it down and just rack up the points. Kids, you want to play? Ooh, Sid, Sid's uh, Sid's looking interested. Oh, that's so funny. No, I don't. I have an elastic down here. And it also has hearts plus. Well, it's, yeah, so you can go more than five lives. I wonder if you get six lives if it. Can you get an elastic? From ludicrous upstairs? speed approaching. <laughs> can you get an elastic? You want from upstairs, me to get an please? elastic? Yes, please. Uh, okay. I can just hold it. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> Plaid mode! I think we are at max speed, though, at this point. No wonder how the other person... If I jumped, I might actually hit a skull now. Because before, when I was jumping and it wasn't this fast, I barely got back down to the ground um, before the next skull came. It was, like, that close. Faster! See if you want to last it. <laughs> Plaid faster. Is it going faster? I don't think it is. No, I think it's. Well, it's going pretty fast. I'm just going to sit here and watch the clouds go by. Okay. They're so pretty. I don't, know if one last is going to I don't think so. No, oh. it's not going to work. Yep. Is it? I got it. I put oh it up here where goodness. the cats can't get it. <laughs> Hands free gaming. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It's probably why there's no pits anymore. It wouldn't be possible to jump them and guarantee you wouldn't land on another one. But well, that that's possible. should be the point. It should be. Like you're hitting a, yeah. a speed. Yeah. The sound is relaxing too. I know. It's like that white noise you put on when you can't it's sleep ASMR. Tonight. Yeah. Railroad ASMR. That is so funny. So I've won this game. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't beat the high score. Which is, I think, 100,000. Well, maybe it'll stop at 100,000. Uh, We're look. all curious now. Let These cats the want treat here. time as well. Do you have it? It's still running, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's so funny. They can see them. Oh, yeah. they can't see them in the corner. But. No, no, it's it's on the screen. Oh, it's still on the screen. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to... Because there was a, a thread about... Ah. Oh, perfect. We can let it run. Um, You can put it in the corner. Yeah, it'll stay in the corner with treat time. Uh, as long as the cats? Oh, there. 97,530 points. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now okay, let's not a hundred. That's nine. That's a lot. That's a million. It's 
something wrap around? What is going on there? Mm. Oh, there was a bug which they fixed, but mm. but that Nine, they got seven. the they got the hearts plus, but they might might have also encountered a no jump section as well. Okay, it's cat time. Yeah. Who do we attribute this cat to? Uh, to? RC70, RC thank you so much. Okay, let's get the betting going. If you have not been here for cat betting, I will tell you how it works. First, we have two cats here. They're going to ring bells for treats. The first one to 10 wins. Yes. But you can bet on it. Yes, you can. So you bet on which cat. This black and white one is Sid right here. He's very cute. And there's Atari in the bar barely on the screen. And there he's very cute too. There we go. There's Atari. Sid usually wins. So there's more categories for Sid. So what you do is click on prediction at the top of your screen in the chat. And you can pick either Atari wins by one or more points. Yes. Or you can pick Sid who wins by one or two points. Sid by <laughs> three or four points. Or Sid by five points. Now, it could be any of those. It's it's yes. pretty even at this point. Yes, and and even though Sid usually wins, we have had Atari win, so I think it's a good good spread. So far, it's a good spread right now. Yes. So we're gonna keep it at this. So spend so. your bits. Yeah. You only need to spend ten bits if you wanna if you wanna bet. You don't have to put a ton down if you don't want to. Yeah, and if you've been in this chat for I don't know an hour, you, you probably, probably have, have 10, ten points. Yeah. Or more. Yeah. Yep. Can Come the Altera emulator run at accelerated speed? I believe so. Yeah. If so, you could play until you reach this point, then boost the speed, have your score increased ex extremely fast. Yes. It's a trick. Suddenly there's a hole somewhere. Yeah. Not so far. Still okay. <laughs> it's still going. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, we've we've covered the spread. Oh, good. That's... Which is excellent. We want, we like to see that because the worst, what happened last time is for no the... one bit for sit one to two and then no one won. For the Everyone first lost, time ever. Lost the points. So we want. It's nice to make sure that you know. So you got. The full spread is you covered. have forty seconds left. Half a minute. Yes. Uh, most of the points are on Sid three and four. That's a good bet. Sid mm -hmm. five plus also a good bet. Yes. Maybe throw on uh, Sid one or two. That's yep. that's a pretty good yeah, bet. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. It's not showing me the betting drop down thing. Oh. Refresh your predicts. You don't see a predict button. At the either? top of your screen, it should be predict button. Yeah. Well, Chell Stunning Miles been here before. He would know yeah. what it looks like. That's weird. Uh, you have 11 seconds left. Place your last minute bets. Ooh, yes. one and two got a couple more bets. Oh, Only one person six. for Atari One Plus. Oh, then someone's no, going to win a lot No of belief money. in Atari. Two seconds, one nope, second. Nothing. It's hmm. over. Submissions are closed. It is now time for the betting. You want to close, right. oh. close the door? Oh. Close the door. I know. It's oh, exciting. my goodness. Oh, are, my goodness. Are you ready, cats? Are okay, you ready? Let me get it in my hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? And go! Oh, Atari's off to the races! Oh, and there's Sid! Close behind. There we go. Now I can watch him a little bit as well. They're both crunching it up. Oh, Sid goes back for seconds. And oh, it goes for the bell but misses. Atari goes. Nobody ringing it. Oh, Harder. they're both touching it. Harder! Oh, that's that a was Sid! 100% Sid. Hit it. Good and kitty. Atari catches up. Oh, oh Sid goes Sid for number three! Right back. Oh, he ate that one. He inhaled it. Cats! Cats, Atari Beer Pong says. Yes, not making it a sound. You gotta hit it harder. Oh, Atari almost gets it. No. Nope. Harder? Harder. Oh, oh Sid, Sid gets got it. that one. Oh, oh Atari. Atari got that one. It's 4 3 for Sid. Six more points. Oh, Sid's back. Oh, oh Sid! Now it's two ahead by Sid. Atari's trying to catch Try up. Harder. Harder. Oh, there we there go. go. It was a tiny ring, but it did count. Atari's taking it away. Sid? Double ring for Sid. Only counts for one. You have to eat your treat before coming back. Oh, he tries. He fails. He's going to go for the blue belt. No, oh, he Sid. stays on the pink. It's 7 4. He's three ahead. That was Atari. Now he's two ahead. Sid's back at the bell. Sid. It's eight points. He's Oof. two away from winning. Oof. It's a fast game. Sid is inhaling them. He's not oh, even chewing. Oh, Sid again. It is now game points. It is far ahead. If he gets one more point, he wins by five. That could change the game. Oh, it's over. Sid. Five point win. Wow. For Sid. Wow. And few extras for the kittens yep. good job the kittens. winner and the consolation
open that door. Yep, I'm here. And wash your hands. Very quickly wash my hands. So congratulations to the five plus. Let's dole out the prizes. By five whiskers, Sid wins. Good game. Let's see who got all the monies. RC7E wins the whole prize with a ratio of... Treat time and win the whole prize. I Good think, job, RC70. I think he has some inside knowledge. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thrace wow. was three to one on his bat. Good, Good job. job. <laughs> Dang it, says the target beer bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Very close, though. Yeah, Sid was on it. And Atari. He was. Atari was getting in there, but wasn't quite smacking the bell enough to get a. A nice ring out of it so no he was both the cats were having a little they were doing it really soft yeah so let's see how the game's going it's a going three time on me next time too there you go <laughs> mr oh 77 mr wow. big spender yeah still not beating the top score we're gonna have to let this run I mean, are we going to let it run on Twitch for the next, like, hour or no, so? No, just while we do the extra. <laughs> while we do the extra, I just got to beat the top score. That's all. What was the it? The top Nine, score? 90-something. Nine, 970,000. Oh, You're at 80. Not 900. Not 90. It was 900. What? It was. That was 90. 970,000. Oh, never mind. That's a long time. <laughs> You can try. Oh, here many times the game free froze, and once the game eventually didn't have pits. Pits, there so you go. So this person just let it run. ASMR brings in the big Twitch bucks. Says RC seventy. <laughs> right. Good point. Good That's point. right. So we will stop it then. Let's switch back and stop it then. This could be an after dark. Yeah. <laughs> stream. That's right. Infinite point stream. So somebody already knows this glitch, and they didn't fix it in the updates. I'm guessing they will. Ah. We're going to undo the elastic band on, that's on here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. It fell out of my hands. Uh, let's keep ducking while I undo it. There we go. There we go. Off. Let's see if I can actually play at this speed. After dark and back into the light. Correct. Ah. Just get everything. Yeah, I wonder if there's enough potions. No, not get everything. I will die. Do you think so? Well, yeah, I, I should just get everything. Because I have enough lives. So I should actually finish the game. Well, I'm going to play forever. No? You want to try and get to the end? Because you're not going to die because there are no pits. Like, you're in the glitch right now. Yeah. Try to get to... Well, you try, aim play for 100,000. I don't know. Yeah. How many points do I get? Oops. That was actually me playing. <laughs> How many points do I get for I things? I wonder if you die, if it'll go back to normal. Yeah, it'll slow right down again, probably. Yeah. Unless it overflows but if something. But the if the pits come back, probably. Well, we'll find out. It'll probably restart. Probably. Get to 100,000. And then die. And then die. Okay. Like, just eat all the skulls. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh, see if it resets it. Because 100,000 is a good score. It is. Oh, well, you got a thousand for each of the yeah for each of the potions, so it it does rack up pretty quick. Yeah, and uh, nostalgic says this is like the stories of eighties era, era arcade games where you'd reach a certain point and it would just dish out a hundred or so extra lives <laughs> so you could walk away for a bathroom break. That's right. Yep. Oops. You get points for the skulls. Did I get one? No, I don't think you get points. It just takes out a potion. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna die because I have a hundred thousand. The only way you can die is by getting all the skulls and none of the potions. You think there's too many potions to die? Let's find out. You're gonna get everything for a while. Everything. Oh no, there you go. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh, there was some problem. There's an overflow. Avert your eyes, people. <laughs> it's nothing to see here. I hope no one... Oh, it crashes. It completely crashed. Well, I hope no one has... Um, Issues with that? Uh, what, what was I going to say? Epilepsy. Epilepsy, yes, thank you. Epilepsy caused by vision issues. <laughs> nice, that looks cool. Feature. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a me. new feature. It's a it feature of cool you looking. hit the top speed yeah. feature. So uh, there will be updates, let's say, yeah. to this game. <laughs> There'll be more updates. 
Uh, I haven't seen everybody anybody post this before. Nope. Well, we now will. <laughs> I will definitely post share this, this afterwards. With them. <laughs> um, so good let's times. See. Good times. Yeah, good times. Good times. Challenge mode. <laughs> yeah, challenge to get the game started. Again. Yeah, it is flashing in the corner there. So, so uh, let's see what's coming up on the show. Turn that off. Uh, so in tomorrow we are still doing a regular show on a Tuesday. Nice. We're going to be playing a turret turmoil dreadnought assault. There's mm -hmm. been an update to that while we're away. We're going to be playing mattress monkeys on the 7800 because we have not played it on the 7800. Yet. Oh no, we haven't. And with I'm a gonna... very cool cart. Yes, with a very, very cool, cool cart. cart. I'm going to put in that one and the 7800 so we can show you forth. how cool that is. Yeah. I did do it on the on the uh, live stream at PRG. Yes. And I might add something into here if a 7800 game comes up. Uh, on Friday, this Friday, we have John Champeau. Yay! Uh, oh, actually, you guys can't see that. Is it a uh, Darcy Day? It is Darcy Day. Nice. Uh, I'll make sure he is still available. Otherwise, I'm doing it myself. Or I'll get Erlen in. We'll see. Yeah. Um, uh, Spider's Arcade, the exclusive world premiere. It was at PRGE. I did show it at PRG, but this is this is streaming. Yeah. Um, plus a live interv interview with John Champo, and we're also going to be unboxing Tutankham Arcade. Nice. That we picked up from Champ Games. Yes, there will be probably. Well, I'll be donning my Tutankham no. uh, shirt that we got at PRG as well. Then probably on Tuesday, it's going to be a twenty six hundred day. I'm going to slot in the Vectrex special coming up soon. Maybe next Friday. I don't know. Uh, Gyrostronomy and Gyrostrology, a dual cart, and Hero Primera. Nice. Both awesome shooter games I'm, I'm for the Vectrex. I don't know if that will be me, but I'm excited. Do you want to play the Vectrex well, games? Well, it doesn't have to be on the Tuesday. You <laughs> yeah. schedule it for whenever, but uh, yeah. it is always fun to play the Vectrex. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, after Dark, Tony. We're going to be nice. playing again. I'll be yes. playing with you because well, I played it's last always time. After Dark. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, I'm probably going to be starting to do solo daytime after darks because I have okay. a huge catalog of stuff you want to go stuff back I have to? to play. That's fair enough. Games that I can play on my own. Some I need maps. I need help, like Tony, or Penalt, or things like some that. Some things do help. Having yeah, an extra I person. need help on some nice. of those. Nice. It's after dark summer. Exactly. Yeah, it's after dark summer. <laughs> um, on October 29th, we have a spotlight on the immortal John Hancock. You know him. He covers homebrew games a lot, actually, mm -hmm. on his channel. Mm -hmm. Be, uh, and he's released his own homebrew games. Yeah. Uh, we talked to him at PRGE. Yeah. Uh, he just released. Daryl Gunther did the programming on Sockum. Block em, Sock em. Nice. So that was a new release through Atari Age yes. now. Uh, that'll be in the store mm -hmm. later on this year. We're going to have a Halloween homebrew special. We already have the Costumes planned out for the cats, but not for us yet. Yeah. We'll have to see. So that's going to be an extra show mm -hmm. because it's not on a Tuesday or Friday. I think it's on a Thursday. Hmm. When is the 31st this year? It's on a Thursday. So there you go. Hmm. So we'll be doing a... Uh, uh, Tuesday Halloween show? Thursday. It's on a Thursday. Oh, but are we going to do a show on Thursday? Yes. Okay. Because it's Halloween. Okay. It'd be very silly to do it on Tuesday. Has Sid worn a costume yet? No. We uh, will see how that goes. We've got his costume. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It, it, he's probably not going to like it, but... Probably uh, not. It, it, he might be wearing it for a total of 30 seconds. <laughs> Hold him up. He'll be the, like... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here's his costume and rip it, rip it right <laughs> off him, gonna, but we'll see. Gonna, we'll see yeah. what happens. Uh, we're going to have yeah. a spotlight on Albert Yerusa. We've talked to him many, many times over the years, but not specifically to him no, about him yeah about him and not just it was atari, mostly no. on the award show yeah. on atari age day but yeah. this is going to be just him i uh, don't have that schedule yet we'll see um we're gonna have a spotlight on chris walton we've never had a spotlight on him mm -hmm. and we're going to be interviewing him with uh the final exclusive version of Zevia's. Mm being released through Champ Games, not even a Champ Game Presents, as we talked in the at PRGE to John Champeau. It is a collaboration mm -hmm. between John Champeau and Chris Walton. Um, we're also going to be talking with Bob DeCrescenzo for the exclusive world premiere, premiere of Bounty Bob Strikes Back. Very nice. For the 7800 being released through Atari. Yes. 
the first 7800 game in 33 years. Wow. For really being released through Atari. Wow. First new game. They've okay. reissued some other games, but those aren't new. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be talking with him. Uh, we also have Atari Age Day, where we're going to be talking with all the devs yes. that released all the games. That'll be when the games go into the stores. Yes. Don't know when that's going to be. Not sure yet. Yeah. Al says fall. Could be a very ra big range. He probably wants to get them out before Christmas, I'm guessing. but In time for Christmas. That's in always time. his hope. In time. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Um, first on any system? No, they released a, a new game for the 2600, Mr. Run and Jump. We did interview that developer yes. also on the show. Yep. And played through it yep. completely. Yeah. The first person to complete the game. <laughs> it was very hard. Oh my God, it was hard. <laughs> I talked with um, Atari. Yes. Uh, was it Adam? Ben? Ben? Adam? I think it was, no, it was, it was no Adam. Oh, um, who's I, Adam? <laughs> it's a made up person. <laughs> I think ben. it was Ben who yeah. said, oh my God, wow, I watched your live stream completing oh, yes, Mr. Ben Run did. and Jump, yeah. Ben from Play On. Um, yeah. And he was very impressed. Yes. <laughs> but then somebody completed it with a CX-40 and he was more impressed. He was more impressed with that. <laughs> Which yes. I am I too. Would be, I would be more oh, impressed with that too. Man, CX-40s. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, and then we're also going to be have a live video interview with Dan Kitchen with his first new game. In pff, 30 years, Casey's Gold. That's awesome. Yes, exclusive world premiere of Casey's Gold for the 2600. Very excited. Have you tried the modern console version of Mr. Run and Jump? No, I haven't. It looked uh, it looked very similar. Yeah. Uh, just with better More graphics. graphics yeah. <laughs> More exciting neon graphics. Yeah, it we looks should, pretty we good. We should check it out. Sometime. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll also, of course, have a holiday homebrew special uh, near Christmas. The Atari uh, Moss. I like that. Atari Moss. <laughs> Atari Moss. It's like an RPG. Uh, I don't is know it? how we missed it. It's, oh. it's not officially a game. Oh, okay. It is, but it isn't. We'll okay. see. Yes, Casey's Gold is finally coming out. That's exciting. It was being shown at yes. PRGE. We yep. showed it a little bit. Uh, we didn't have much time to show it. We didn't actually play it. No. I mean, I'm, I'm a beta tester on it, so I have actually played it. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually, I was a beta tester for Bounty Bob Strikes Back nice. as well. So, so you, you know a little bit about well both of those versed. games. Yeah. Uh, that's a tough game. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a hard game. Yeah. So we have a lot of cool things coming up. Mm -hmm. A lot of interviews. We're going to be talking with a lot of people. It's always fun to talk with developers, mm -hmm. show off their games, promote their games, because uh, the community is awesome. Mm -hmm. And they're making super cool games. Mm -hmm. Always, always love to talk with them on the show. Uh, but our next show is tomorrow. Uh, Turret Turmoil, seventy eight hundred games, and Mattress Monkeys, the retail version of that. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to that. It's two player games. So we can play jumping around monkeys together. Yay! Audacity had that on their site since Circus Convoy. Glad to hear it's out now. Yeah, and they actually recently when they and showed that they were coming to PRG. They put up an ad and they showed qu fourth quarter 2024 yes, for Casey's Gold. For Casey's Gold. That was the first so reveal that it was showing that yeah. it was coming out soon. That's awesome. Um, I mean, I knew it was coming out. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was beta testing, but I couldn't say anything. So that is very cool. Um, yeah, lots more things that we're going to be doing. Um, I think that's it. So mm -hmm. thanks for tuning in on mm -hmm. this off day. I said it would be a short show. It's not that short. Well, reasonably short. Sometimes we, we're playing till nine. So yeah, yeah. If, if it's under two hours, that's a, that that's a short show for, for us. us. <laughs> for us. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us, Atari Beer Pong. Great to see you on yes. our channel. Uh, and I'm guessing you're not streaming. <laughs> Right now. It'd so be I, hard to stream and, so and be in our chat at the you? same time. Yeah, normally you'd be I the person check. we'd throw to. <laughs> Maybe you're playing and also. <laughs> I probably chat? not. Probably not. Uh, let me. Uh, let me see. See if there's anyone to throw to that jumps out. But... Uh, no, 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 you're not. No, just hang out. Okay, very cool. Um, Atari Bay Wrong, Just Tony Mao, Rented Ghost, Nostalgic, RC7E. Um, RSA Hughes. Um, let's see. Rendered Ghost. Already said that. Dan ABC S Ramirez, the Girl Geek. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for rating Buffalo yes. Pinball. That's so awesome. Awesome. Always great to see other people supporting us. 
Um, any other names that I missed? No, that's it. Yep. And hello to all the people who are lurking yes, as well. Yes, thank you. Hello to the kitties. Yes. And um, that's it for us till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Same bat time, same bat channel. 6 yes. p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Yes. Tanya will be back to yes. play some more games Yay. as well. And uh, we will see you mm -hmm. then. See you then. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.